guys. Come and come! Yeah, I just got to meet Guy Pierce backstage and the Ardman guys. It's really cool. And you wave to a Hellboy in an elevator. Yeah! <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It's really star studded back there backstage. Sorry, you can't all be there. <laughs> Well, so you must be at the top of the world right now. I mean, I must be. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you, you're an Emmy nominated for for your show, which uh, yeah. which they which was great. I saw it in L.A. actually oh, before yeah. it went to. We New York. changed it a lot before we went to New York. Oh, so you're saying I haven't really seen the show? Well, you haven't seen it until you watch it on HBO. <laughs> nice, nice. So, um, so I did keep you... forgetting it's HBO. I keep calling it Home Box Office, the old school. Yeah, you, I, I saw I saw the original stage play, your stage show right. on on HBO. I remember watching that way back in the day. Ah, I love that story. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is this is just beginning. <laughs> just beginning. Uh, so, when 25 years ago, did you did you have any inkling that you would still be going this strong? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just an inkling, though. Yeah, not, n not more than an inkling. No. No, who could have predicted this? That I would be here on the stage at Comic-Con in San Diego? <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> They're 30 each, buddy. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if uh, anybody else in the audience uh, saw it, but uh, one of my favorite pieces of the Playhouse was your Christmas special. Oh, did, I'm really proud of my Christmas did, special. Did anybody else see it, watch the Pee-Wee's Playhouse Christmas special? You were really mean to Frankie Avalon and Ethan and Jello. I was really mean to them, and, but I'm not mean to them in real life. I, 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 uh, I was in a movie called Back to the Beach I love it, uh, yeah. before my Christmas special, and I only did the movie so I could meet Frankie and so enamored of them, and just to, we shot it all night at the beach in Malibu, and I stood next to Frankie and Annette all night for 15 hours. Yeah. It was so exciting, and then they uh, were kind enough to be on my Christmas. The Serpent Bird, right? You did the yeah. Bird song. yeah. Yeah. I called the president of Paramount Studios. That was a Paramount release yeah. on April Fools, and I called the guy up and told him that I had just heard from Warner Brothers Records where I had a record deal with P.B. Herman, and they wouldn't uh, allow me to sing in their movie. And the movie was coming out in a week. <laughs> and uh, the guy dropped the phone, and I could hear him screaming and freaking out in his office. And I couldn't even go, like, April Fool's, because the phone was already off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you gave that poor man an ulcer, is what you're saying? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and something I want to touch on, Pee-wee's Big Adventure was a giant movie for me as a kid. Uh, and judging from that sound for a lot of you guys as well. Uh, and were you aware at the time that Large Marge was going to scar a whole generation of children? <laughs> no, I really wasn't. I, I really didn't think about that. Um, but I have certainly heard from many, many grown-ups who have gone, when I was a kid, that scared me. <laughs> No, the uh, Chiodos did that, yeah? The Chiodos? Chioto Brothers did the animation? You know, I want to say that the animation was... They may have been involved in it. Yeah. Um, but per, uh, I'm blanking on his name. He, he's a Tim Burton guy. He, yeah. uh, he's uh, art-directed and done a lot of stop-motion work with Tim. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Well, well whoever you are, you... Uh, Rick. You, 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 Rick! Rick. Mr. Rick. <laughs> Mr. Rick uh, made a, uh, a lot of therapists a lot of money, I think. So, um, uh, so what's going on with your movie? You've got a movie in the works now with uh, Judd Apatow. Yes, huh? I do. Ooh, <laughs> what? With, yeah, yeah. I, it's surprising and shocking when you say in Hollywood, yes, I'm, uh, I'm making another movie, and people go like, oh, really? Who's producing it? And I say, Judd Apatow. People are like, oh, 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 oh. It's really cool. It's, it's an incredible thing that, you know, it's an ace in the hole that, to have that. Yeah. You know, the, well, speaking for a whole generation of, of Pee Wee fans, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't, you know, blowing smoke when I said every Saturday morning I was in front of that TV, you know, I, I, I love that you're, you're still going strong and I love that you have, uh, you have a movie in the works. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all being here. Honestly, it's, it's incredible to me. Yeah. Um, not even that late in the day either. I know, and they stuck around after uh, Bella and Edward left too, which is, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> who I actually missed by three seconds backstage. <laughs> I know. I almost didn't come out here. <laughs> you have a hard life. True. Uh, what? I don't believe we've called out for the audience <laughs> questions yet. <laughs> Uh, that's actually a good thing. I, I, I would like very much to give you guys an opportunity to ask uh, Pee Wee oh, Herman some questions. Have, now we have. So, <laughs> so, so, but, but you have to do it orderly. Yeah. Oh, look, they just brought a spotlight up. Oh, man, they're not kidding. Look at that. Look. Oh, it's Bob Stencil. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pee Wee, what a pleasant surprise. I had no idea when I showed up that you were going to be here. I didn't know what to expect. Somebody named Large Marge sent me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, what can you tell us about the Judd Apatow movie? Uh, well, I could tell you a lot, but I'd be put to death afterwards. Uh, I'm not allowed to really talk too much about it. I could tell you a little tiny bit. The studio is reading it right now as we speak today. The studio is making their final decision. And um, it's a road picture. Mr. Apatow felt very, very strongly that we make something that was similar in feel to Big Adventure. So he wanted a road picture, and that's what we're doing, a road picture across the entire country. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Kiwi. Hello. I was wondering what today's secret word is. <laughs> Take a guess. Comic-Con. Duh! <laughs> so, Begins with a C, ends with an N. Comic-Con. Com <laughs> Carmageddon. <laughs> a lot of local people. <laughs> Hi, Pee Hello. I'm a big fan of yours. What? I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering... What do you like about me best? <laughs> uh, you're tired. Thank you. I'm sure it's a long list, but thank you for mentioning one of the things on the list. No problem. Um, I was wondering, how is it working with Judd Apatow? Who? Uh, Judd Apatow? <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> uh, oh, it's fantastic working with him, you know? We, we don't see him that often. I'm writing it with... With a, with a writer who uh, Judd Apatow uh, put me with, uh, a young man named Paul Rust. And so he and I are writing the movie. We hardly ever see Judd. We turn the script in and he goes, yeah, I don't like this, 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 and this. And we go, great, okay, so we'll fix that. And he goes, all right, we'll get back to me. That's it, pretty much it. You haven't lived till you've gone to the studio commissary with Jed Apatow, though, boy. People are freaking out. I, I thought, like, wow, I am really back. And then I realized it's not me, it's Jed Apatow. <laughs> freaking out. Anyway, <laughs> I love that story, too. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Does that satisfy your question? Hey, Pee Hey! <laughs> First off, huge fan. Grew up with every one of your episodes. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I still have some of them. Thanks. And now how's I... everything going in the Sherwood Forest? <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it wrong? Yeah. Okay, I'm out of it. Who is it? Flynn. Flynn Rider. Oh, of course. Or, as Rapunzel likes, Eugene Fitzherbert. Oh. Uh. Anyway, for my question, yes. just how many of those gray suits do you have? None of your beeswax. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a little personal. Um, I have uh, probably around six or eight hundred of them. And, um, but I retire them every once in a while, you know? My weight fluctuates, I go up and down, I throw them away, I, you know, I spill some, I get one wet, I toss it. You know, they're, they're very cheap. You can't tell from here, but this is actually a paper product. <laughs> Hi, Dewey. Hi. Um, you provided the voice of Captain Rex at Star Tours, right? Yes. I was so sad that they took him out. Yeah, you and me both. I didn't even know they were taking my voice out of Star Tours until somebody, I was in a situation like this and somebody asked a question, just like you're doing right now, said, Pee-wee, how do you feel about your voice being taken out of Star Tours? And I was like, what? I didn't even know. 
Well, actually, you can still kind of hear your voice in the queue. Like, it, your Kevin Rex is like short circuiting. He's like going, ha ha ha, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> is there any good news? Oh <laughs> <laughs> but my question is um, I'll tell you one thing, though, before that you didn't ask that I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, I, uh, as long as my voice was used in the park, I had a free pass to go anytime I wanted meet those three people, and I went all the time. I go all the time. Well, I was upset. I was. You can imagine how upsetting it would be to have your voice ripped from the George Lucas ride, and then have the pass ripped out of your hand. And, you know, which I cared more about than the voice, really. But um, I have to say, what you know, we'll get to your question in a minute. <laughs> I have a very important story I want to go over really slowly with you right now. Uh, never mind, I forgot what I was talking about, so go ahead, what's your question? I was just wondering um, if you could yell out, R2, light speed to Endor! No. Oh. <laughs> what is it again? I can't remember. R2, light speed to Endor! R2, light speed to Endor! <laughs> Thanks for asking the question, and the other thing I was going to tell you that I do, it's all coming back to me now. I got a letter about three months ago from a gentleman at Walt Disney Company saying, do not worry, your pass will be good forever, even though your voice is being taken out of the park. It was, that was an incredible thing to have happen, really. Like, you care. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hi, Peary. Hello. Um, I'm just wondering, um, how'd you come up with the Pee-wee? Like, um, how'd you thought of him? You know? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to give you this little tip. They have this thing called the internet, and, um, <laughs> you can look that up and get so much more information than the information I would give you. It's a really boring story. You'd think after this amount of time I'd have a really fascinating, made-up story about it, but I don't. It just came to me. It's just one of those things, you know? But if you want to know more, if you'd like more information, I-N-T-E-R-N-E-T, -E -E internet. <laughs> You'll need a smartphone or a computer, an iPad, a tablet. <laughs> Any chance of a Twisted Sister being in your next movie? Twisted Sister. Uh, I think one movie for Twisted Sister was enough, really. Um, <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Dee Snyder, love, love Twisted Sister, but there's really nothing in the new movie for Twisted Sister in their current configuration. <laughs> yes? Hey, Pee Wee. Hey. Uh, how did you go about getting that part in the movie below? Oh, you know, the director of the movie called and asked me to be in the movie. That's how it happened. <laughs> it, it was that simple. Somebody called me up. Uh, the, the director of the, of the film asked me to uh, be in the movie, and just as an, as an interesting footnote, since you asked, I was originally offered to play the part that Jordy Moya played in the movie, the part of the Colombian guy who takes the Johnny Depp character down to uh, meet the uh, cocaine uh, drug lord. And uh, that's the part I was supposed to play. And I just said, you know, uh, I'm not Spanish. <laughs> And so I selected a different part. The rest is history, as we like to say in showbiz. Thank you for asking. Yeah, you're great in that movie. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yes, Captain Kirk. <laughs> it is logical. Pee Wee, the world knows you as a fountain of wisdom and knowledge. Oh, I don't. Yes. <laughs> and so the world wants to know from Pee, from Pee Wee Herman, exactly how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Park? Wow, um, I have no freaking idea. Honestly, I have no idea. Um, I don't even believe they make Tootsie Roll Pops anymore, do they? They do? The cartoon owl says three. Really? Yeah. Um, do you have any idea? You don't know. Are you a big Tootsie Roll Pop fan? I could sing the song. I'm a very lucky boy because I got a Tootsie Roll Pop. <laughs> Thank you. 